going on meta fam we are back here and we got another update where this video will be aired on the 18th the day of this actual event where mr gary gensler is going to be speaking on mmtlb and we got a post here from mr bark Basile um saying mmtlp the shit may hit the fan tomorrow so i commented with the uh gif here of literally it hitting the fan so <laughs> that was kind of funny uh putting that there but you know uh all right <clears throat> so here it is frank nez has an article out breaking gary gensler expected to answer inquiries on mmtlp here is the actual article and this is what we're going to cover you can get this information uh you want to follow frank nez on twitter f n e z underscore blogger you can follow him here or you can go to his page franknez.com and you can check out his articles here so we're going to feature that here in today's video and let's get this blown up and so y'all can see this nice and good on the screen and here you can see it's published april 17th and there's mr gensler right there all right here it says securities and exchange commission sec chairman gary gensler is expected to answer inquiries on mmtlp during a hearing on tuesday april 18th Investors have gotten in touch with several government representatives and told their stories relating to the MMTLP scandal. Earlier this month, we found out Congress was getting involved in the MMTLP scandal through a leaked letter sent out to Meta Materials CEO George Palacaris. However, a new letter from Congress details an ongoing investigation into naked short selling and other market fraud. Congressman Bill Posey said in a letter that he's been hearing from a variety of constituents on retail's concerns involving MMTLP. While we have yet to be given evidence that anyone acted unlawfully or unscrupulously in this matter, scrupulously in this matter, I believe the regulatory agencies have an obligation to investigate this matter, said the congressman. But evidence has indeed surfaced. Conversations between FINRA and SEC confirmed the regulators knew of the fraud that was occurring in ticker symbol MMTLP. Now investors are confirming they've been in contact with Congressman Warren Davidson, who apparently confirmed to SEC Chairman Gary Gensler will be questioned about MMTLP in the front of the House of Financial Services Committee. And you can get this article, uh, this YouTube link right here, April 18th at 10 a.m. And uh, we're going to go down here to some of the questions. And here you can see, a lot has happened since the U3 halt of ticker symbol MMTLP. Fender has responded to investors through no solutions have been provided. And now Congress is investigating the fraud with investors expecting Gary Gensler to answer questions about MMTLP in the upcoming hearing. Here are just a few questions investors are inquiring about the events. Number one, is the SEC aware of the U3 halt and investigation by FINRA into the listing, trading, and halting of MMTLP? Question number two, has the SEC seen the blue sheets on MMAT and MMTLP? And if so, why doesn't the public have these numbers? Number three, has the SEC investigated any of the short sellers or market makers who were short on MMTLP after the merger between Torch and MMTLP? Number four, relating to the OCC, has the SEC investigated their role and lack of oversight? Number five, is the SEC aware of any communications Fender had with market participants and Fender reps on MMTLP situation since its inception to ending. And number six, when you discover who the bad actors are, what punishment will they receive? That there is some fantastic questions we hope to get answered. Uh, they got a couple tweets here posted from Junk Savvy, tagging all the Congress people here. We understand your question, Mr. Gary Gensler, on Tuesday under his tenure as the Steve. Uh, Gov has enabled market cartel and destroying our market integrity, economy, and national security. Please ask the following. And here is the questions from Junk Savvy that was featured here in this article here. And this here goes on down to about John Berta on MMTLP. And we've covered this before, but I just wanted to go over the two things that we want. Mr. John Berta says there are two distinctive ways to resolve the MMTLP situation. 
Uh, number one is to allow two days of trading under strict supervision. And number two, and the second is to get rid of the bad actors to solve their settlement problems by buying shares of Next Bridge Hydrocarbon. So there it is, guys. Uh, that is the big news. Uh, that's right. This gentleman right here, Mr. Gary Gensler, is going to be talking about MMTLP tomorrow. That's right. So, uh, yeah, I will uh, make sure you get this link here. I believe you get it. Uh, yeah, I have this on here. Um, the link to this here, you can click on this. It'll take you right to it. And you can see here, live in 11 hours uh, at 10 a.m., I believe it's Eastern Standard Time, hearing into oversight, securities and exchange, and you can get to it there. So um, you can also click on this notify me, and it'll let you know when this goes live. Um, now, I will be at work. Um, I just love that gift, by the way. Um, but I'll be at work. But trust me, I'll do my best to keep up to date what's going on Twitter. I know the MetaFam out there will have all the updates and keeping everyone up to date. Uh, there was so much information. Uh, like I said, I wanted to give this its own separate video because it definitely deserved it. Uh, there is so much more information I got to cover. It's like I could do like a week of videos just on what happened today. And then we still got what's going on tomorrow as well. So for my people that don't uh, follow Twitter and all the news, just stay here on the channel. I'll keep you up to date what's going on and little eight to 10 minute videos so you can keep up to date going about your day and, you know, be good to go. So that is all I got for you. Uh, one of the next things I'm going to cover is uh, Frank Nez did another article here and he just watched a video where the SEC commissioner was dancing around the questions, stonewalling, whatever you want to call it. And he does another article here and basically has the transcripts of that. So if you saw the video, it's always sometimes good to have the transcripts of that, uh, you know, behind that video as well, because that video will go down in history. Charles Payne laid the law down on uh, the SEC commissioner, and it was a treat. Trust me, we love Charles Payne for what he did. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have this in an upcoming video. I may have this for the weekend possibly. And then uh, there's emails out there from Jennifer uh, with, uh, Clifton the boys, the Next Bridge Hydrocarbons uh, CEO. So we got that video to cover as well. Guys, there's so much out there. I may just have to do a live stream and combining it all into one again because there's just so much. Or I'll have a bunch of videos keeping everyone up to date. Uh, love and appreciate every single one of you. Smash thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Peace. <laughs>